on backyard gardens. Just wondering if you have pros and cons of adding blood to compost and or the garden. I butcher pretty much all year, but have not tried this. Mm, yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. I love this question and it freaks a lot of people out because a lot <laughs> of people think you shouldn't put any blood, any offal, any of your butchering waste into your compost. And there are some cons you can, could develop um, some toxins, some bad bacteria, if okay. you don't do it right. Um, but it is totally viable and a great use of your resources. Yeah. Blood itself is high in nitrogen, and so they make a nitrogen additive out of uh, blood meal. And um, you can totally add it. You just want to make sure you've got a good compost pile and that it's working and is really digesting well and biologically active and not just sitting there going bad. And the... That's where you have, have problems. Well, that's where yeah. people have problems. And that's where this idea that you don't put meat or animal products into your compost piles mm -hmm. is because they don't have an active compost pile with probably enough carbon and it's actually right. active. And so they end up with a pile of rotting material instead of something that's actually composting. But if you're doing that butchering at home anyways, mm -hmm. you have to get rid of the blood somewhere. It doesn't make sense to just go dump it because you want that nutrients actually in your garden. Those are great nutrients Absolutely. to have. So yeah. it's really a good idea and so, if you can do your compost pile right. So what we do in the fall when we start butchering is we just use tons of wood shavings mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can literally bury it. Our dogs don't even get into it yeah. if we bury it so well and that gets it breaking down. We mix it in the middle of the pile and then cover it in wood shavings and then through the fall we start to add garden waste and lots of other stuff to it. So you need to do a little research on that. We can't go into it here but it is totally viable. It's, um, it's just a great thing to do. There's no reason to haul it to the dump or do anything else with it. You just want to recycle right there on your property. Now let me ask really quickly, are there other ways to use blood into the garden like can you dilute it down enough or is it better to compost it? i have so i've taken it mm -hmm. and with that idea of a blood meal but you know i haven't tried to make blood meal and dry it out that would just be i, I just don't think that's a yeah, you need to use really a lot of energy to do that and there's just no reason for that really mm -hmm. unless you're just going to go buy it because you need that source and you don't have any other way to get it but yes i have tried watering it down and watering the plants with it yeah um you know, it works. I haven't got real specific and I've never had a problem with it. I think it's done good, but I haven't been very scientific about it. The problem with it is the blood gets thick and it's pretty hard to get it fully dissolved. Okay. So I always still end up with a bunch that I got to throw in the compost pile. Okay. So, you know, if you're needing a source of nitrogen and you want to play with that, it, it works fine. I've mm -hmm. never seen any damage from it. I think a general rule of thumb is to water it down 10 to 1. One part blood to two That's parts certainly water, if that you're right? going to get into urine, yeah. that, that's about what it is. Right. Some people say 20 to 1, 10 to 1. I, on blood, I don't have that on top okay. of my uh, my head, but that would be pretty safe. I would yeah. say that was pretty safe. You're not going to overdo it if you're at 10 to 1. Okay. Yeah. Good.